Well, shalom, shalom. I'm Barbara, and I'm always short and sweet. Well, the Catholic Church, who do they worship? Why does the Pope wear the pagan cap of Sybil on his head? Is it a Catholic symbol or a pagan symbol instead? And in Rome, Sybil is known as Magna Mater, the Great Mother. The cap of Sybil is one of the oldest and most sacred pagan religious symbols of humanity. And from historical writings, the cap of Sybil is also called the skull cat, the kippa, and the yarmulke, as well as the zucchidu. So it's originally from ancient pagan worship and of the pagan worship of the alleged queen of heaven of ancient astrological and pagan beliefs, which beliefs started at the ancient cities and towers of Babylon. As we have talked a lot about, it all starts back at Babylon. The cap of Sybil, the skull cap, is worn to show respect, fear, and submission to the queen of heaven, the alleged pagan mother of all false pagan gods. And the mother goddess Sybil is the picture of her in a um, museum in Turkey, sitting on her throne, representing a woman in childbirth. The great mother of God, Sybil, and other names for her are Aphrodite, Venus, Ishtar, Ashtoreth. And you can pause the screen and read all these quotes, and I'm going to leave links below. And uh, Ashtoreth is often called Ashtardi, and her Greek name, that's her Greek name, and also Ishtar, uh, and so we know her as Ishtar, Easter, Ashtaroth. You've heard all of these from our other YouTubes. So in the 3rd century B.C., the cult of Sybil made a dramatic entrance into Rome. And uh, she became known in Rome as Magna Mater, the Great Mother. And Christianity entered Rome there in the 3rd century. Uh, three faiths were prominent in Rome, the cult of the earth mother Sybil, the Egyptian goddess Isis, and the mysteries of Mithras. And here's a quote about that. By the time the Roman Empire, Sybil, Isis, and Mithras played important roles in the religion in ancient Rome. And their worshipers uh, stretched well beyond Rome as far as Britain and the Black Sea. And for three deities with uh, distinctive identities, there was also a lot of similarity between their cults. Each cult involved complex initiation ceremonies, also known as mysteries. And uh, there were also parallels in symbolism and divination practices. So um, we've heard this word mystery before in Revelation 17:5. And upon her forehead was a name written, mystery. Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And this is a YouTube that I did about it uh, here. Who is the harlot of Revelation 17? Uh, in the first part of the 4th century, under the newly installed Emperor Constantine, the Tower of Babel religion simply changed into a new mysterious garment. And this was when pagan Rome became papal Rome. The Roman Empire became the so-called Holy Roman Empire. And the Tower of Babel religion simply took a new name and a new form, and the new name was Universal Christianity, which is what the word Catholic means. The word mystery is not the same in our English usage of the word. Mystery to the Greek meant not a puzzle that was difficult to solve, but it meant a secret impossible to penetrate. And it was something that was hidden and unintelligible to those who were not initiated as into a secret society or as into a religion. Vatican Hill was the site of the largest ancient temple to Sybil. And if you go over there and visit, you can see this uh, sign, this plaque here to the Temple of Magna Mater. And uh, Magna Mater was Sybil. And here is uh, uh, one of the uh, pictures of the artifacts from the collections from her uh, temple there. The Kappa Civil is worn by the Roman Catholic Pope 
and the Roman Catholic cardinals and other Christian leaders of various sects, and is worn by rabbinic Jewish men, and also is worn by some sects of Muslims. So the, the Roman Catholic Church calls it the Zucchetto, different colors for different levels. You might have seen a uh, bishop wears black, archbishop wears purple, the cardinal wears red, and the pope always wears white. The most common and basic headpiece for Pope Francis uh, when he's given a papal mass is the skull cap, and it is white. And these little beanie caps are called zucchettos. And they're worn by the clergy, and that's an Italian name. And it originated, they say, uh, from actually uh, monks that took a vow of celibacy, and they would cut off their hair, and the little caps was to keep that part of their head warm. But all this stuff goes back to pagan religions, and there's roots to all these things. There's symbols and reasons for them. And here we have uh, all the purple and all the red caps. Well, Jews wear the cap of civil. Here's a kippah, a yarmulke, and it's a skull cap or a brimless cap, and it's usually made of cloth, traditionally worn by Jewish males to fulfill the customary requirement that the head should be covered. And uh, you'll see here the Pope's wearing one pretty similar to the UK's chief rabbi. Muslims wear the cap of civil. The takia, also known in Persian as the short rounded skull cap, and that is worn by Muslims and believe that Islamic prophet Muhammad used to keep his head covered, and so that's why Muslim men wear them during their daily prayers. Christians wear the cap of the civil. Um, so they, uh, Christian priests and bishops also follow the same custom because they consider themselves to be the ministers of a perfected Judaism, not as a separate religion. And it was the same tradition of Jewish priests that the early Christian priests and bishops accepted when they celebrated the Eucharist, which is the mystical paschal sacrifice of the new covenant. So now we see Christians wearing this cap too of civil. In Revelation 17, John identifies the religion to which he is referring as the mother of harlots. We read that Revelation 75. And in other words, it is a religion that birthed all of the other false religions in the world and is called Mystery Babylon the Great, Revelation 17, 5. So ask yourself, why do Catholic priests, bishops, and the Pope wear the cap of civil? And here on the right, you can even see King Charles with a velvet kippah uh, and with the UK's uh, rabbi. Here's another verse, Revelation 13, 3. And I saw that one of his heads was, as it were, wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. Well, hats off to Ashtoreth. They are giving praise and worship to the Queen of Heaven. So 1 Samuel 7, 3-4 says, Samuel spoke to all the house of Israel, saying, If you turn to Yahweh with all your heart and put away the strange gods from among you, Balaam and Asherah, and prepare your hearts unto Yah and serve him only, he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. And then the children of Israel put away Balaam and Asherah and serve Yah only. And that would be our goal uh, to not have anything to do with these symbols that represents the false gods. So like if this is a blessing to you and share with your friends that love Yeshua and you can look for all the links below. In Revelation 17 again uh, identifies the mother of harlot as Mystery Babylon the Great. So come out of her my people that you be not partakers of her sins and receive not of her plagues. Revelation 18.4 so remember, I'm short and sweet, and I'll see you back next time, yeah, willing. Thank you for being here, and I appreciate you.